Hey YouTube, it's CK with Modern Modern Media. Thanks for joining me. We're gonna really quickly talk about latency and logic. Uh, just did an upgrade recently to Logic 10.4.1, new bells and whistles, love it. However, I came across an issue I've never had before. Uh, this is the audio interface that I use. It's made by Universal Audio. It is uh, a really great little interface and I've never had a latency issue with it whatsoever until this update. So not sure what got rerouted and what's changed, but it's an easy fix. So let me show you guys, for example, real quick, guitar. Uh, so when you put in a guitar and you input the monitoring or you make monitoring available to here, The signal coming through the monitors is very fast. And so I'm very comfortable as a guitar player to play a track because it sounds uh, very much real time. Now, here was the problem. If we come and arm the track for recording, now we're gonna have some delay. Don't know if you can hear it or not. With the pick strike, pick strike on the string versus what's actually coming out of the monitors, there's a, enough of a delay that as I was recording, I was like, this is terrible. I really don't like how this feels. So there's a couple workarounds. Uh, go to logic, pull down menu, preferences, audio, and then your IO buffer size, a quick explanation. These are sample rates. This is uh, how quickly the signal is gonna come back to you. Now, keep in mind, the lower you go, the faster it is, the higher you go, the less CPU that you have to worry about. Ideally, when recording, you want this as low as your CPU can handle, so that way you have the quickest compensation for tracking. And then you can always bump it down to like, I like 128 for mixing, my computer seems to handle it well. Um, and if you deal with any sort of crackling, uh, while you're recording, you can always just change it to a different size. Uh, now your process buffer range is another one. Um, during mixing, I like to keep it on medium. Uh, during recording, I keep it on small. That helps uh, a lot with the compensation. Now, even if I apply these changes, I still believe I'm going to have some delay with my track here. Sure enough. So what the heck do you do? Well, there's one more tab over here under the general. If you click this low latency mode, now it's it's not gonna allow anything to go above five milliseconds in a return. And it'll let you know, like Logic will give you a prompt and say, hey, your CPU usage is too strong or whatever the warning is. But now, it is right on time. And look how we're queued up for recording. So um, yeah. That's pretty much it and that's how you fix, and that deals with uh, anything audio or MIDI input related. Um, it should fix the problem for you. Just keep in mind, you say you save the project, you close it, and you reopen it back up, the low latency button is gonna be off by default. So you have to go back into your preferences, go to the general and audio, and turn low latency back on if you're still tracking. Um, if you're not, if you're just mixing, you don't have to really worry about it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys uh, uh, don't have any more issues with latency. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later. All right, bye.